you go. Did you clip her up today? Yeah. Oh, from last week. Somebody very much. Oh, very much. Right. Pretty good specimen, isn't he? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Here we go. <laughs> One more. <laughs> So, welcome. This is a video that we're going to call Masterclass. So, it's the master here teaching the 2IC, I guess they're going to call me. Um, so, Ninja's got a little hamstring kind of thing going on of late. And so, what we're going to do is kind of replicate what a real treatment would look like. So, Ninja's come in to see us with an injury. And, um, you know, we know how to treat the body and know how the body works. So, we're going to use our expertise to help. But we want to showcase how it is a partnership. So throughout the treatment, Ninja's gonna be the one who's gonna be guiding me into the spots that he feels like is gonna be the most effective for what he's got. So, yeah. Maybe tell us a little bit about what's been happening for you too, man. Okay, so I think it was five weeks ago and had a hammy strain at sprints. And I noticed before that that I had a real tight spot in my calf. So, and I had a hamstring, sort of like a hard cramp. And so it would have been like a grade one tear, we feel. Um, so yeah, got, got on the treatment straight away, straight after the sprint, which is probably counter what a lot of people would say to do, like all the mm -hmm. rice kind of stuff. We didn't do any of that. I didn't do any icing. We actually got into it straight away to investigate it. So, um, and then we, yeah, mm -hmm. and so I had a progressive thing from there. So like each week I've been trying to do a little bit more training and kind of pushing my limits as well and, and like, um, yeah, just sort of, yeah, probably pushing a bit, bit hard. I suppose keeps getting through sessions, and then the last rep of each session, yeah. he feels yeah. it again. So yeah, yeah. yeah. but I'm, I'm good. But um, um, yeah. So I guess today, yeah, we're going to have a look at him, do a little bit of an assessment, and then um, yeah, he's going to guide me as to what he wants. So Mason, we'll get your top off, man. We'll have a look at your posture. So come around here, Dax, and we'll have a look. So face the wall, Ninja, and then just let everything relax as best as you can. So I'll get the skeleton here, so you can see what we're looking for generally when we've got any kind of hamstring issue is just looking at the spine, uh, the pelvis, how it aligns, and then what's happening in the legs here. So for Ninja, the, the first thing I notice is mm. probably just a little bit of a hip hike on this mm. left hand side here. So if you had the spine there, you would kind of see that um, the left iliac crest here might be just a little bit more hiked and there might be a little bit more compression on that left hand side and actually it actually looks like there might be a little bit of a rotation in the pelvis too so if you're looking at the pelvis from the side there it looks like that right side even though that left side is hiked the right side is maybe dipping forward and rotating which actually when the um, when one side rotates forward that means it's a more anterior tilted pelvis on one side and more posterior tilted pelvis on the other side and so the hamstring issue is on the right hand side and if he's rotated forward on the right hand side, it means that the hamstrings might be long and stretched. Okay, now from watching Ninja in the gym as well the last um, few weeks, I've noticed that he tends to like using his right side a lot too. So that rotation may be coming from the fact that he's been using the right side a lot more than the left. So what we're gonna to do to start with today is get into the adductors. So the adductors, they attach to the pubic bone here, okay? And they're on the inside of the leg. Now, when you have an issue with um, an asymmetry with maybe tending to shift to the one side or shift to the other side, you can get an adductor that might be tight and pulling down or one that's pulling up. So with Ninja and with any kind of person that has a hamstring issue, I like to treat both adductors to try and get a more even base in the pelvis. And then we're gonna go into some hip flexor stuff, maybe some lower back stuff, and then finish off with some hamstring stuff. But we just wanted to showcase today what it's like to um, receive a treatment when you come to, to MMT, okay? And also what we do is, like, I'll basically talk to Ninja now, what do you feel like you need, man? Because that's one question we always ask the, the client is what they feel intuitively like they need. Yeah, I suppose the, the main thing I feel now is I just want to flush through the, the hamstring. Yeah, cool. So um, everything else is feeling quite good. We've done lots of lower back and mm. hip stuff, which I'd like to talk about as well. <laughs> like, like how I've felt after those sessions has been really tough, like mm. just walking around and stuff, like just moving, like has been really tough. But, but like the psychology I had to have during that was, you know, I just knew that I'd had my medicine, so to speak, and that the body knew what it was doing. So when you are, you, when you do pull up rough for some, from some work, 
it doesn't mean that you've been fucked up and you're not mm. not worse. You're, it's actually part of the process. Like you, when stuff is stuck inside your body, it, and you need to kind of mobilize that, shift it out, make it into smaller particles so the body can deal with it. So you need to bring things to the surface. If they're stuck in there, they're not going to change. So we need to make a change. So and a lot of times we need to actually physically hit it mm. in a nice manner, in a manner that molds it rather than smashes it. So, um, yeah, awesome. so that's the kind of stuff we want to talk about during the session as well. And uh, Sweet, man. Get it going. Let's do it. Yeah. So let's get you on your back to start with, man. So I just want to hit a couple of those key spots before we um, have this beside the bed. Yeah. Sure. Grab it. Pull on the spine. Yeah. All right. So the first thing we're going to do today is just do a little bit of work into his right adductor. So get some nice draping going on for you, man. And the first thing we ask whenever we do any kind of adductor work is, uh, especially for the boys, is to pull the agates across to one side so you don't pin the ball bag. That's a really important <laughs> thing that we do. Okay, Nim. So I'm just going to land on a spot. And Ninja's going to guide me. So I'm just going to slowly sink in there at the rate that the tissue's allowing me. And then Ninja's going to guide me. So I'm going to try and land on that pubic bone there. So yeah, really important to take time in this initial bit. Because so it is a new thing and it's like a, you know, an invasive spot for a lot of people. Intrusive. But yeah, if you've had a lot of work, you're not, not going to be as um, resistant, I suppose. So, so yeah, so with this sort of stuff here, you've probably seen some other videos, but what we really want to do is have the tool, like the shape of the elbow, go into the the, the crevice, the, the, the part in here. So we want to get right to the bone, like right to the periosteum, the covering around the bone. So what I can feel here is when Aaron comes right in on that angle there, that's where I can feel like that's the... That's the point. That's the, right in that corner, okay, where everything has started. So it's just a little bit of guidance that can help you get the optimal treatment. So you can kind of... One of the things we really like to do, we're talking about the partnership, there's, there's an internal knowing when somebody is hitting spots that are important. So you, you just know, it's like a language, mm -hmm. you know? It's like uh, one of the little phrases I liked hearing this week was have a deeper conversation with your body. So it's like conversation means that you're actually investigating and, and kind of looking into things and getting feedback and then sort of, what are you feeling? What am I feeling? Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like not just a, a one-way street, you're actually working together. So, and like talking about conversation with the body too, like this what we hold in our body is not just physical stuff. There's emotional, financial relationship. There's all these different traumas and blocks mm. represented in our tissue. So you, you're actually um, going into that those realms and how it gets expressed, that's important as well. So we like being able to talk um, and you know build that rapport and trust so you can feel comfortable to go into those spaces and, and the language, the talk is all important. Mm. And even breathing and swearing if you want and Letting whatever, just this sort of stuff, that, that's all part of it. And that's, that's, that's necessary mm. to get better, you know, to heal, you know? So um, I think if you try and repress that, you're probably repressing what's actually put that in there and what, what what's involved with that block you know so it's sort of you got to start the ball rolling and, and um, getting it out getting it mobilized is so such an important thing so yeah man maybe tell me where, where I'm at now and where you want me to kind of guide that yeah, so I reckon more. yeah and kind of get under there just a fraction and in there yeah so I'm pulling down that way I can, I can sense just by him starting to explore in there. I can feel like he, there will be a direct pressure or, or a really pinpoint, detailed bit. It's really precise. But then you can feel you sense things. Yeah, if you go down a little, you come back up a little and come pin back down on that again. So yeah, that's it. 
It's not, yeah, when you go that way, it's not as much, but up in there, there is. If I can kind of get you to kind of trace, you want to trace bones. That's kind of like a really important thing. Yeah, that's. Okay, I can that feel that little there. hard knob there. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that's. Okay. That's intense. It's camping. So you want me to just hold that or manipulate yeah, yeah, it a little bit? Yeah, like just those like little, little movements. Little but it seems like it's, it's, it's kind of dissipated quite a lot already. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's good. But, yeah, go, keep going down, I reckon, down yeah. lower. Yeah, it's just into there. And then kind of that, that direction a yeah. bit. There, yeah, it's it. Yeah, hold that. And, and do you feel like... Dissipate. It's still a ductor, or do you feel like it's coming into the hammy a little bit more the lower down I go in there? That's still a ductor. Yeah. I'd feel. If you went that way, you probably hit hamstring, deep hamstring, but yeah, it's, it was pretty clear there. Okay. So that's a bit of an example of the adductor stuff. I just want to come out and do a little bit further out in the tendon out this way. So Nims, just let me know out in this little bit here if you feel like there's some goodness there too that feels tight but um it doesn't feel as important okay. like it, it's one of the things that's holding me back so yeah if you go down towards the hamstring more rather than up i feel like do you want me to disengage or just nah, drag stay, it down? stay yeah. there if I can guide you a little, it's probably got to be a little something. Yeah, can you kind of get underneath that and then hook up into that? Yeah. There's something. Oh! That feels like a deeper pain. Yeah. So the my other one was on that tighter gracilis kind of muscle. That was yep. like a sharper pain, but this one's deeper and older. So I'm kind of intuitively feel like that one's been there for longer and has been kind of holding the leg back for longer. It's been a bit more blocked. It hasn't been the flow in there. If you go down now, like there, yeah, onto that one, and then, ah, fuck you, hook onto that, yeah. So that's oh, full on. It's a combination of deep and sharp. good so that's sort of dissipated okay maybe sweat a little <laughs> maybe you sweat a little bit yeah it's good now okay man so that's a good little show there of a bit of hamstring and adductor work from that position so the other thing that i wanted to do whilst i got you on your back here and the good thing about that is you'll be able to feel straight away won't you when that releases yeah especially when you let your leg drop out it kind of just hangs there a lot easier yeah so you get that instantaneous relief which is really good even though it was only a few minutes the other thing I wanted to do was just a little bit of work into iliacus. So the iliacus and the and the um, and the psoas, they basically the psoas attaches to the lumbar spine and comes down to the front of the hip, but the iliacus sits in this little kind of a, uh, what do you call it, like a bowl there, and that also comes down to the front of the hip. This is the one that's generally quite overactive. Okay, so I wanted to do a little bit of work through here just to see if Ninja had any spots at all in that area too, just as we're exploring. Can you show us on that? that um, skeleton to where the groins attach on so yeah, where sure we just so yeah the area we were working um, when we were under here were all these little bits in there that's where the adductors attach on to the lower we went that was getting into the hamstrings which attached there which is commonly called the sit bone okay so we were just kind of getting through that I, I was what near where ninja was guiding me was literally just kind of on the bone all the way down up into that hamstring there okay so this time we're going to be working onto the iliac crest and the ASLS at the front there just to see if he's got any stuff Just let me know. This can often be quite an uncomfortable kind of feeling. But just let me know, Ninja, if you feel 
any sort of discomfort there at all. That feels okay. It's pretty good, yeah. It's not. So just there's maybe a little. Just a little bit, yeah. That's kind of feels like connected, like an organ or mm -hmm. inside a bit more. Different kind of feel. So we're always taking our time with this one just because there's a lot of, as Ninja said, there's a lot of other structures in this area other than the hip flexors. So you need to allow the body time to get things out of the way. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's good. What's the sensation you've got there, man? Is it just on the spot or do you feel anything maybe um, going into the or groin or the quad? Yeah. If you can kind of go more onto the bone first, yeah. up onto there and then kind of move down. Yeah. See if that sort of anything is on there. So the, the level you're going at at the moment feels like it's clear, like there's no actually uh, sensation that's telling me there's dysfunction because it is quite distinct. And like we've kind of talked a lot before about the different kinds of pains and interpreting them. That's mm. what's really important. Like good pain up against trauma. So sometimes you're just not ready to have things worked, even mm. if it is in a really kind of caring and slow manner because it's, it's too fresh or it's the emotion that's contained in that you're not ready to unpack it mm. yet. So you kind of got to respect that fully, you know, even yeah. if you, you really want the person to heal and to get better and things, if they're not, not ready to unpack that part of their body yet, that's okay, you know, so, um, so yeah, it's, it's just a respect and, and like, because they might be ready next week or in a, it might take six months to kind of work into that part because what it, it represents, yeah, probably a bit more there. So we might actually do a little bit of active work here too because generally the more you release the hip flexors, you're going to get a change in the in the hamstring. So what we might do is just, Nan, it's not like a full hip flexion. Can you just like, just move the leg around a little bit to see if we can just get a little bit of a jostle happening in this area here. Let's get a bit sharper as I do that. Yep, you can feel it sticking up in a little there a little bit. It's good now, really good. Let's go another 30 seconds. One of the things I like to remember too is like with your psoas iliacus, they help with the first ten percent, I think, of the hip flexion. Of yeah. the flexion. Yeah. So, like pulling your knee right up and down, that that's not um, yeah, necessarily you need to do it, do you? Yeah, yeah. the um, the real test. So the real test is just lifting your knee that little bit. So that's when it activates. So, all right, man. Just let that leg drop out there. I'm just going to slowly sink out of that. Nice. Now, while I got you here too, seeing as we know we've done one groin and I spoke about kind of evening up, I just wanted to test this groin and see. I like testing things and treating both things just to give, it's like a bit of a test, you know, you test both things and you treat them and then the person understands, oh, that was a lot sore, that was a lot tighter and it kind of makes them realize, oh, maybe there is some difference going on in these, in these areas. So, we'll just see. Yeah, one of the most telling factors is is the the sensation you yeah know, how exactly how much pain there is in an area like that tells us so much more than a scan or a even a test or a like test a, yeah. yeah the the pain that really describes the dysfunction so so well so that's like that's what we do we actually investigate by pushing into things mm. but yeah there's like a clearing as well there's a like there's, there's going, it's kind of starts a healing process as well by, you know, getting that spot clearer and moving better. Exactly. Yeah. So getting, being able to get the, the dead cells and the stuff that's been trapped in there out and then be able to nourish and move that area better because it is more flexible. Not much going on in this one, man. What do you feel in there? So if you pull up a little, okay, up, there, yeah, there. under there, and then out, I can feel that's a really distinct spot. Yeah. Back into the bone there, yeah. Yeah. That's good, just hold that for a tick. 
So it's, it's really cool kind of as a receiver of treatments uh, perspective as well to have that permission just to kind of do these little guide guiding things because you I really feel like I'm getting the optimal treatment mm. like I, mm. I know that I'm getting stuff that I want and need done and how many times do you have people coming in that say people were flicking over the area but then yeah. they move on and they yeah. didn't have the guts to tell them to go back there or yeah so this is like the ultimate experience because you get to yeah. run at your own you know your own show yeah yeah we did a video about a year ago, the ultimate massage tool. <laughs> <laughs> so like it, that, that's kind of what we are. We're plumbers, and and like we we want to unblock things, you know. We want we want to have a deeper conversation with your body, and and like um, yeah, when when it's once it's unblocked, magic can happen. The body just wants to heal itself. It just wants to, you know, function. Really, yeah, and sometimes it just needs a little bit of plumbing, just a little bit of a hand to to get that flow, to get that, you know, initialize that that healing to happen. So, all right, man, that's good. Yeah, it was a good solid spot in there. All right, let's get you up, man. So we're going to get into the hamstring and the stuff that he wanted now. But what I do is after I do a few releases like that, especially when we're swapping over, I'll get him to kind of check in with his body and just see how he's feeling and if anything feels a little bit different especially in the groins there and the way his legs feel close the gates open them up yeah so stuff like this is um i like this kind of testing because you can kind of get a bit of a sense of how your body's moving and mm. and um and like this just doing this sort of stuff each day as well it really kind of helps you um have a healthy body because it, you know you, you're testing it but you're also kind of getting some, some snowy fluids and stuff like that back into the joints and and um yeah it doesn't seem like much but yeah. we wouldn't move that yeah. way otherwise yeah. would we? so it's sort of a good habit to get into is just to explore your own body and, and create your own kind of routine that's that's right for you to to yeah make sure your body's moved through yeah. different ranges and yeah move it or lose it in it that's it that's it yeah, All right, man. Really good. Let's get you down on the table now, and let's yeah. get some work into this actual hamstring. Yeah, tell me maybe where you're feeling the exact point in the hammy. So it's just a, like a, a longer strip through here, which yeah. has got, got better since Monday. Since yeah. I did a bit again. The, that bit in there is really cleared out. Yeah. So it's just sort of a line through here. Yep. Yeah. Um, we'll go there. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Just spice it there, mate. So yeah, we've done a lot of back work on Ninja. We might even edit some of that back work into this video that we've done over the last kind of week or so. So I'm not gonna do any more in there because I'm happy that that's kind of had its medicine. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. it was sort of, like it felt like he was um, really going into some stuff that was had been just that same pattern and hardness for, for years and years. So it, it was like probably the, the um, the most sore I'd been after a treatment ever. And of of you know, I really got Aaron to go in, in heavy as well. But yeah, the but the, like a few days later it just felt really amazing. So yeah, just like I said before, you just had to keep that, you know, mindset that the work had been done and the magic is happening and just sort of, you know, even though I'm feeling worse you know, things have been opened up that were happy being the way they were in my own mind, but... Gonna ride the storm initially. Yeah, they, they, if they would be, there was a realization if they had been looser, I would have functioned better and there would have been better flow, better electricity going down to my hamstrings, you know, through the, the nervous system. All right, man. Yeah, so it feels good to go sort of right through that yep. tendon and then probably right to the side of the calf, kind of towards the perineal and that um, bit where it was so just there, probably the, the brunt of it. The brunt, yeah. This feels a little bit stuck together in yeah. there. Yeah. 
So it's good to stay on that line there, is it? That's yeah. good. Yeah, and probably slightly medial. We'll okay. go through the pin it fucking fully. So we're actually going to go over the tendon here and then into the calf. We just need to get, be quite careful and tactful when we're going over that knee there. So just using Ninja as a guide again. Yeah, that's fine. Get into there. That's over there. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, that feels therapeutic just there. So. so yeah, attachments in there feel really good to get worked. We just, as it's sort of like the angle that Aaron's working on is just perfect for that 45. So really engaging with it well and then um, shifting those tissues, you know, melt them down. What about as I enter the calf there, man? That's okay? Yep. Yeah, it's fine. That's probably just there is where the block was. The residual of, yeah, but it's pretty much gone. Yeah, in there, it's, it's still, yeah, that patch, probably three, four centimetres. So, yeah, when I hit a roadblock, I just give a little bit of a wiggle to kind of let me through a little bit more. Yeah, there's a bit of a gooby there. So I'm going to go to the elbow this time. So if you can grab your elbow a little bit. Yep. Well, I reckon you can kind of... You mean medial of that hemi A little bit more. Yep. Just to, just to unravel it better, maybe go that inside one that a little bit more. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, okay, get you on the inside of that. Yeah, just there. Yep. And then you kind of follow that line. Okay. Hamstring's pretty interesting um, how it all kind of entwines together as well. Got that same attachment point up the top, but then it um, goes off into, into three. Never feels like you would expect it to feel when you're looking at a chart, does it? Like you come up to these roadblocks and mm. feels like there's horizontal roadblocks in there, doesn't there, sometimes? It's... Yeah sort of down at the, the bone level too where you've got to get to to actually be effective so you've got to be deep that's perfect pace and pressures be comfortable with that the pace just allows me to kind of welcome that in and it just it's releasing and unraveling now it's starting to get nasty <laughs> i mean you just keep going I mean, is that line good do you want me yeah, to change that line, line? Yep. yeah set you up on that right trajectory yeah <laughs> <laughs> fucking line from the start <laughs> in the right gutter yeah that's it So yeah, man, you just let me know. Yeah, go go slow there. Yeah. And any deeper, angle and deeper. Maybe a bit deeper. Yeah. Just there. That's it. And just there, camp, camp, camp there, there. Good sort of spot. Maybe a little bit medial. Can kind of just just there, yeah. Yeah, 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 go down, that's it, that's going over it. Maybe just flatter slightly, just to kind of yep. catch a bit more. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you stay on that line and, and go to the, like the inside of that bicep. Firm tendon, that's it. Yeah, it's good there. So 
So that wasn't too bad. That was okay? Yeah, a lot of the work probably done last week. Alright, so you want one more through there maybe? Yeah, what, what I was sensing though was it's um, a bit more up there. Yeah, duck duck kind of. Okay. Inside hamstring. So. Let's just see if I can land on something in there for you, man. Yeah. Even Good. more inside, or is that alright there? That's uh... Yeah, it's probably there, and there's probably another one inside. There might be a couple of lines. But that's really good. That feels really therapeutic. Like really helpful, important. So do you want me to just hold that? Yeah, hold that for a tick. Yep. Even if you can go a bit deeper. And then probably start to scoop down and pull uh, towards yeah, that way a little. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So that's that's right on. Yeah, that's, that's a, like a real block there. So just go slow there. Can you feel that? Yeah, man. You still want me to pull or push outwards a little bit more? Yeah, or? yeah, that way still. Yeah, that's pinning it. That's pinning it well, sorry. <sighs> Just want me to camp there? Yeah, you keep the direction going down. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So don't, don't move to the same up. Yeah, that's it. So have that pulling it away from the sit bone, but yeah, stay engaged, that's it, that's it, yeah, that's good, I can feel that into the groin a little, that's it, that's it, that's it, yeah, that's it, yeah, keep engaged, that's it, so that's going pretty, pretty nice, Stay, yeah, uh, stay in the air. Yeah, feel yeah, that string in it there. Yeah. Feel yeah. it now. I need some thumbs in there. Yeah. Let's try some thumbs. Push out a little bit more, there. Yeah. yeah. So we're just searching for the ultimate pin, aren't we? And encouraging the tissue in the direction you really intuitively feel like it's gonna engage with it and clear it. You can just tell. can just keep that stroke going through and you kind of got that um, top bit kind of all melted. That's it, slow there. Let that unravel. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, that medial bit. Yeah. 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 Hey Darth, can you lower the table for me a bit, man? <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> That's feeling good there, this stuff. Yeah. Good. That's good, man. Keep going with it. Yeah, so that, that's sort of just a therapeutic stroke. There. There's, there's nothing in there. So the main bit that you worked up higher, we we're communicating with, that was the block, and that's, that's done. Just test it for sure in here. Yeah, 
Realization there. It's good. Yeah. All righty, man. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, there's an example of yeah. some treatment. Yeah, I can't even feel that now. We can do some shit. Like that. You know what I mean? Standing stuff. Yeah. Might need to go on a push. You push off here, man. Push here. No, no. If you like push your hands into there, so push your hands down in there, and I'll just. spot in there somewhere yeah that's good that's really good whoa that's bang on feels so therapeutic the partnership <laughs> yeah that's good man yeah it's awesome yeah, i feel like i can hook into that a lot better now oh fuck kitty oh <laughs> it's good Out. I can feel it going down. Test that out, man. A bit lower, you want? I reckon. Let's try that. This is a bit lower. I reckon if you because I don't reckon I got in. If you can grab it like that, yeah, your fingers and just get in there and reef it, yeah, somehow. Which one soften a bit? How you can do that? You kind of want to that. that one in there. Right. Is it more more under, yeah, under there. Oh. That's it. Yeah, yeah. She won't need to do much of this either. <laughs> That's good. Oh. <laughs> good. Nice fingernail marks. Claw marks. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Just need to let it all... Um, Settle down settle, now and, yeah. and uh, heal and uh, know that the work's been done because, um, yeah, and it's probably as a receiver, yeah, you just know that the bits have been done because you were able to participate and, and guide and, and you just felt, uh, I felt things that were really strong and then they dissipate, they just fade. Mm. And so you just know that things have actually changed, you know, and like, and that, but things don't change unless you connect with them. It's mm. sort of one of the, our things that we know because, like, um, yeah, you've got to physically connect with it, wait on it till it kind of changes its physical state. You know, it vibrates and changes from that solid into a yeah. gel type state. So, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, you've got a bit of a, a visualization of what it's like to have a proper treatment at MMT and the partnership that we create during the treatment as well to get the desired results. So, yeah, if you've got a pain or dysfunction or something going on in your body, just come in and we'll, uh, we'll help fix you up. Done. <laughs>